Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, we added a sidebar to our theme and uh, we positioned it correctly over here on the right. So here we can see that uh, there is a sidebar if we inspect. We can see that uh, here we have the post wrapper and on the right side we have the sidebar. So now in this video, I'll show you how to add different widgets to this sidebar and uh, we'll also style them and uh, make it look better. So let's get started. So let's go to the dashboard of our blogger website and uh, let's go to layout. And let's scroll down and uh, here we can see we have a new section called post sidebar main. So let's click on add a gadget. And let's add a couple of gadgets over here. First of all, let's add the featured post. So click on that. And uh, I'll just change the title to featured. And uh, we'll leave all of these options as it is. And uh, you can select the most recent published post over here, or you can select a post from your list of posts. So I'll just select one of these. I'll just select this one right here. And if we scroll down, we can see we have a preview of our post. So let's just go ahead and click on save. Now let's add another gadget. This time we'll add a blog search. So just click on this plus icon. And I'll just change the title to search. And then click on save. And let's add one more gadget. And I will just add an HTML slash JavaScript gadget. So in this gadget, you can go ahead and uh, type any HTML or JavaScript you want. And uh, this will be a custom widget. So if you want to create any custom widget or any custom code you want, you can add that in the HTML slash JavaScript widget. So here in the title, I'll just type custom widget. And uh, we can just type some HTML over here. I just add a span and uh, give it a style of color red and we'll type live space and we'll just close the span over here and here we'll type blogger let's add a line break and I'll just type some text over here this is a custom and I will add a strong tag to make it bold HTML and we'll close the strong tag over here and we'll type gadget over here I'll just change this to custom gadget alright so let's click on save so this is our custom HTML gadget let's add some more gadgets so I'll just click on add a gadget and let's scroll down and see what we can add so we can even add the labels over here so I'll just click on plus and uh, I'll just select the cloud and then click on show number of posts per label and then click on save and then lastly we will add one more gadget so I'll just scroll down and uh, we will add uh, this gadget right here blog stats and uh, I just select this one right here and also check animate counter and then click on save so that's it with all the gadgets let's rearrange all of these so first of all we want to have uh, the search so I'll just drag this over here to the top and the next one we want to have is featured and uh, then we'll have the custom gadget and then we'll have the labels and then we have the total page views right now that we are done with that let's go ahead and click on save so scroll to the right and uh, just click on save and our gadgets have been added to the sidebar so if you go to our website and uh, refresh our page we can see that all the gadgets are being displayed over here and uh, we don't need to make a lot of changes over here we'll just adjust some margins and I think that will be alright so I'll just right click over here and click on inspect and uh, let's see what we can do first of all for all the H2 we can uh, reduce the margin bottom and increase the margin top so here we can see this H2 over here is sticking a lot to the top widget right here. 
so here we can see we have set a margin bottom of 36 so let's reduce the margin bottom and I think 24 pixels will be all right and I will set the margin top to 32 pixels and uh, now we can see we have the correct margins but we can see that the whole sidebar has moved a little to the bottom we'll fix that later and we'll also reduce the font size a little bit so here the font size is set to 24 pixels I think 20 pixels will be all right all right so let's go ahead and make these changes to the CSS of our sidebar so let's go to theme and click on this arrow and click on edit HTML and uh, let's scroll down to the CSS so this is the CSS of our sidebar let's add our CSS right here at the bottom and I'll just copy this uh, selector from here because uh, the h2 is inside the sidebar and uh, after that I'll just type dot widget h2 because here we can see we have this division with the class of widget for each of the widgets and in that we have the h2 or we have set the margin bottom to 24 pixels and margin top to 32 pixels and font size to 20 pixels now let's see what else we can do now since we are given a margin top of 32 pixels to the h2 the whole sidebar has moved down a little bit so let me just refresh this page so here we can see that we have this margin top of 32 pixels for the first heading as well so for that we'll just remove 32 pixels of margin top from the sidebar so let's go over here and uh, here for the sidebar we have given a margin top of 115 pixels and 115 minus 32 is uh, 83 so we'll just type 83 pixels over here and uh, now we can see we have the correct position for the sidebar and I think we can also give a little bit of margin bottom to this S3 so we can see this is an S3 and uh, let's set a margin bottom right here we'll set a margin bottom of 16 pixels so I think that looks fine so I'll just copy this from here and uh, let's go over here and uh, I'll just paste it over here and I'll just copy this and paste it and uh, change this to S3 so I think that's pretty much it with our design we can see that for the labels uh, we have a bigger font for the labels that has a lot more posts and a smaller font for lesser posts and we have the total page views of our blog over here so right now it is 1543 let's refresh this and now it says 1544 and we have pretty much completed the styling for the sidebar and it looks all right for the screen size but if we open it in a mobile version we don't want to have the sidebar being displayed so if I go to inspect and click on this button right here called toggle device toolbar we can see that the sidebar is being displayed over here as well and uh, everything is uh, all over the place let me just open responsive and uh, let me just drag this over here and here we can see on the bigger screen size it looks all right and as we reduce the screen size it starts to look weird and one more thing we can notice over here is that it is not at the center so the whole content is not at the center if we right click over here and click on inspect and uh, let's click on blog sidebar container and uh, let me just give it a background color so here we can see that this is the container division but our sidebar is uh, moving a little bit outside the container so these are some of the things we need to fix for the responsive design so we'll fix all these issues in the next video for now i'll just stop this video right here so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day